When it comes to the S&P 500, counting the wave uh, as an impulse would somehow um, cause a problem. And I will actually tell you why, because this wave 4 overlaps with the wave 1. So the only way counting it as, as an impulse would be a correct count. The only way would be to count the cycle waves as the extension. Yeah. So basically, we would, uh, we would have here on the top um, of Grand Super Cycle wave 1 red, would have basically the contraction after after that uh, super cycle grand super cycle wave two red, and then super cycle wave one and two counting it normally yeah but then of course we would count cycle wave one, cycle wave two and then we would be counting primary one, primary two, primary three, primary four and then primary five ending basically cycle wave um, free so we would be moving this wave free all the way up top here so regardless of how the wave count would be um, would be executed then of course a contraction would occur yeah same thing in the price action territory of a previous wave four so for now I'm just keeping this wave count as it is, just as an example. So basically, let's say we have wave um, wave one, cycle wave one, cycle wave two, cycle wave three, cycle wave four, and then cycle wave five, completing um, super cycle wave three. Yeah. So then dot com bubble contraction, retracement wave B, and then wave C in uh, 2008 recession same uh, same as uh, Dow Jones the same count as Dow Jones however uh, when we would be taking a look at the um, as at uh, alternate counts the one basically in which the view would would actually have an ending diagonal scenario we could see that there's much more room on the upside for this to be able to pan out so therefore that's why I'm saying that a contraction would be needed before another bull run to have the overthrow. However, it seems to me like um, this this room on the upside is pretty big. Yeah, so I would I would actually I would actually say that according to the fibs, according to the measurements, uh, this overrun is not so likely not impossible not saying that it's not uh, it's not possible something like that i'm just saying that there's um yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty big uh, so without a contraction this doesn't really have chances just just to fly all the way up there yeah so we're we're basically talking about 2800 3000 uh levels right there on the s p 500 so therefore I would I would actually say that if we were to count um, count it as an impulse, yeah, we would count it as the uh, as an extension. So what you what you actually see here is an overlap with cycle wave four, uh, basically cycle wave four with over cycle wave one, which is not really I mean the overlap is quite I mean it just barely touches it. So some traders would treat this wave count as correct but again regardless of how we would look at things all the way up top here we would be looking for signs of divergence and wave fives ending so this is precisely what we're gonna do with this piece right here with this bull market that actually started in 2008-2009 uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the uh, cycle waves or primary waves depending on what we what we would actually see so if again if we were to count this as primary waves one basically uh, this would be cycle wave one cycle wave two and then primary waves one two three four five somewhere around here we would be ending a big degree yeah so we in this case we would be ending cycle wave three Either it's that or the wave count can be left like this and we would be ending super cycle wave five and grand super cycle wave three. Now, 
regardless of uh, what wave count would be correct, a contraction would be expected. Yeah, and the last recession happened in uh, 2008. Previously, before that, 2000. So we have eight years, uh, eight years um, between them, and since 2008 until 2018, it's like 10 years. So cycle-wise, time-wise, um, charts would agree with some sort of bigger contraction. So that's my theory for now. Uh, more details will be will be given basically when we actually go on the on the charts with the analysis so we can actually see the 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 exact uh, count and our position in the overall progression of the market now looking on the right side yeah as i said we would be ending uh, something very very soon as uh, and then followed by a contraction but if uh, if we were to basically prefer the alternate count, the one basic, basically done as an A, B, C in one, and then contraction wave two, three, four, and then five on the upside. Um, if we were to do this, then of course we would be left with much more room on the upside. But uh, the way I'm counting things right here, a contraction would be expected and then the final run. And the wave count practically agrees with that as well. So, yeah, let's let's continue with this macro view, and then we'll get more, much more details. We'll get it, we'll get them basically on the uh, on the charts. Yep. Okay. So let's go for it.